Hey guys, Anthony here with a Arturo Fuente Churchill cigar. Today we're going to describe how to cut and light a cigar. That's today's the basis of today's video. Uh, although we do have a great quality cigar here, this Arturo, Arturo Fuente Churchill is made in the Dominican Republic. It's got a beautiful natural Cameroon wrapper on it, as you can see. Arturo Fuente cigars are known for their consistent, well-balanced well flavor. Handmade cigars from a high-quality company um, that's been here in the United States since 1912. I would say Arturo Fuente is probably one of the best-known cigar families in the, in the world. But today's video is going to consist of the cutting and lighting of a, a fine handmade cigar. And what you want to do, guys, is have, like you see I have here, I have a little cigar box of some accoutrements that I keep in it. My cutters, my punches, some spare cedar, cu spare cutters, matches. This little handy uh, chart that gives you the ring gauge. So if I wanted to know the ring gauge of this cigar, I'd pair it up here. And this is a 50 inch ring gauge cigar, as you could see. And there's a little ruler on here, which I measured. This is a seven and a half inch cigar by 50 ring gauge. So that's the size of the cigar. It's a nice little piece of uh, equipment to have. Now, if you'll notice on a, hand, a fine handmade cigar, just around the top here, you're gonna see, it's probably gonna be hard to see in the video, but the handmade cigars are capped off with a cap. It's kind of um, glued on with a vegetable-based glue uh, that keeps the cigar together. So what you want to do is when you cut the cigar, if you're going to use a guillotine cutter like we're going to use today that cuts both ends of the cigar, you don't want to cut too deeply over that, past that cap because what will happen is when you start when you light and smoke the cigar, it'll unravel and you'll get tobacco in your teeth. It's just not a good thing. So when we cut this cigar, we're just gonna cut a little bit off the tip and I'll show you that in a minute. But I just wanted to discuss one thing about that some people like to use a punch and you can on this cigar use a punch. It's just a little sharp round, looks like a pen. They come in many different shapes and sizes. And what you'll do with the punch is it puts a little hole, it just cuts a little hole in the top of the cigar or in the top of the cap. But we're not going to do that today. So basically there's two ways of cutting right there. We're going to use the guillotine cutter, which I use in a lot of my cigar videos. This is one I've had for over 15 years. Just a very good self-sharpening guillotine cutter. So let's get a close-up of just the tip of this cigar. So I got just a tip in there. I'm going to squeeze both ends together very quickly. And there you go. A nice clean cut. The cap is still intact. Okay. And now, to light the cigar. To light the cigar, I like to use, when I can, a strip of cedar. And you can see here in my little case, I have several strips of cedar that I've collected uh, when I buy cigars or when I get uh, cigars in the mail and they come with cedar lining. I'll break the cedar out and I'll keep it to use uh, to help light my cigars. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to light the strip of cedar and I'm going to light the cigar with the cedar. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dance the flame up around the edge of the cigar and let it heat up. So let's get uh, that going now. So we'll light our cedar. And now we'll dance it up. Okay, now, if the cedar goes out like it did here, you could relight it, or 
for the sake of today's video, we'll try with a match. And first, we're outside. I like to use a wooden match. I'll let it burn off. Now the same thing. It's a little hard out here to show because of the wind, but we're going to use another match. And don't be uh, discouraged if it takes three or four matches to light your cigar. You want a perfect, you're smoking a high quality cigar. You want to get it lit correctly so it burns correctly. Light another match. Dance the flame up to the cigar, turning it, heating it up. The blow on the end of the cigar, and you'll notice on this cigar, there's still a piece that's not lit. Right there. So that's the one we gotta light. So one more match should do it. Okay, there you go guys. My cigar is lit, and part of the fun of smoking a cigar is cutting and lighting it, at least for me. Now, I could have used a, a butane lighter. I chose not to. I wanted to show you the old style, old school way with the cedar and a regular wooden match, but now I'm gonna enjoy this cigar. This is not a specific review on this cigar, uh, but um, I'm gonna enjoy it tonight. I hope you guys um, learned a little bit about cutting and lighting your cigar. And that's what it should look like. Cut and lit. Burning even, beautiful ash, well-constructed cigar from a great company. Thanks for joining me, guys. Send me your questions and comments. We'll be back with other cigar reviews in the future. Thanks for joining me. Take care.